Hi, it's Karen here from The Learning Cauldron. One of the questions that I'm asked by despairing parents most often is, how can I get my child to read? And the answer is you will never force anyone to do something they don't want to do because they'll be doing it reluctantly and they're unlikely to learn in that process. So one of the key things is to try and make it so much part of life that they can hardly avoid it. And that starts really young. It starts when they're babies and can barely even understand the words you're saying, but sharing the pleasure of looking at one of these, a book. This is two little penguins called Flapjack and Waddle. Great name. And by simply sharing time with your child, looking at the pictures, maybe reading the text, when they're very, very young, you can start to develop that interest in books. The idea that books are something positive because it's shared time and children really value time with their parents. From picture books, you can move on to longer stories. This was one of my favourite books as a child, and it was read to me by my mother. Kenneth Graham, The Wind in the Willows. It's a classic and it can be shared over a period of time. You would be unlikely to read this to your child in one sitting, but that creates a sense of anticipation. It doesn't need to be bedtime storybook, it could be any time storybook. Make it that reading becomes part of natural life and something to be treasured and look forward to. There are numerous children's authors who have created great books for kids over the years. We've got here Dick King Smith, who could forget his books. Um, we've got The Wicked, The Worst, The Worst Witch by Jill Murphy, one of my favourites. And then the animal art books, of which there are many. Here we have number 27. Um, if children are fond of animals, these are great books for getting them reading as well. Getting boys to read can be a challenge. This was the set of books that certainly ignited my son's passion for reading. They're fun, they're, they've got enough scariness in them, but without being too scary, and they're waterproof, which when young people are holding books, you don't want to be having to tell them, don't touch it with your hands being sticky, and they thought of this. It's a brilliant idea, a book that you can literally wipe down after. There was an interesting survey done recently which mentioned that boys reading at a young age prefer to read about a male protagonist, whereas girls of the same age don't mind whether the protagonist is male or female. So for getting boys to read, Michael Morpurgo is a good bet because many of his stories have a male protagonist. One of the best ones, in my opinion, is Private Peaceful, which is a very poignant but very compelling tale to read. And obviously War Horse has huge success, not only as a book, but also on stage. The key thing is to spark an interest in literature from as young an age as possible. Even when your child is then reading independently, still be interested in what they're reading. You could read the book yourself. For example, the Michael Morpurgo books are actually very good reading for an older reader as well. And then discuss the characters, the plot, the storyline with your young person. If you show an interest in books and in literature, then it's highly likely that your child will grow up with a love of books as well. Good luck with that. It's an investment of your time reading to your child from an early age, but it is a very good investment.